Got it. Okay. He was right in front of the doors. TV right up here. And then I guess TV right over here. I think that was right. Was it not? They're all still on. He went to that TV on the other side. Oh, right. Yeah. So it's that TV there. That TV there. I don't know. In the middle, pop. In the very middle on the right very middle on the right that was it man give me a sec I'll figure this out okay I think I got it now how was that it I don't know. That's the door open. Hello? I'm crying. That door open? It is. Hello? Hello, what? Oh. Oh. Just pop back into reality. An old dream? Good? Go back. Let me 
go outside. All right. No. That's good. Fortnite, do it. Oh. Do I toss it in the trash or do I send it back? Send it off to someone else. It ends with someone else. Yep. Ending one. I was sickened by the whole situation. I sealed his VHS carefully and decided to send it off to the sender. Fortunately, the sender's address was on the box. When I was done preparing to send it off, I felt my tense shoulders relax. Too much happened in a short span. My mind couldn't keep up. I knew I had to rest, but I couldn't fall asleep. Everything about the store terrified me. Inevitably, I had to sit down in a chair to clear up my head. What did I see? Was everything I witnessed even real? Although I was scared, I knew I had to tell know the truth. I wanted to know what had happened and why. So I turned the internet about the store. I found a f uh, I found a few old articles and forums talking about the location where the building was made. One comment on a strange form stood out to me. There seemed to be, have been some gruesome killings at the property. Searched in the same user comments. In 2009, there was a case where a man was the mainstay, mainstay of the family committed a murder-suicide. They determined to investigate the incident further. September 14th, the man killed his child with a kitchen knife while his wife was off the grocery shopping to his local supermarket. When the wife came back, it said that she was killed in an extreme way. He then hung himself on the same day. They say that the woman was pregnant at the time of her death. The woman was killed with several nail punctures. Nails punctured in onto her, along with her child in her stomach. I wanted to throw up from the obscene images, but I knew I had to continue. There was a guy that replied to the comment and said that he worked at the same place as him. According to him, the man was often harassed by his boss at work and complained to several colleagues. On the day of the incident, it was said he had an emotionless face. Imagining what the family had gone through, depression and hatred occupied my head. It was very painful with tears in my eyes. I closed the internet gently and called the manager to talk about everything I had experienced during the night shift and what I had discovered. However, the calls were never picked up. It was the same over and over again. Then I received a phone call from Mr. I'll say, the franchise leader who I had never met. I had a bad feeling about it. Then, with shivering voice, he said, The manager is dead. I couldn't breathe. So it wasn't a dream. And when I asked about the place where it was found, so said that there was an old storage behind a convenience store and he was found there after the day of his death. I dropped my phone, I quit my part time job with a broken feeling. It's fitting I would avoid going near the convenience store whenever I passed. Because every time I passed in front of the store, I would always feel a sharp stare towards me that I wouldn't be able to help but to try and pass as quickly as possible as to not look at the building. I deleted the store to close down. The reason seems to be due to poor management. Preferred details were not publicized. At that point, I don't have the means or the courage to examine it anymore. After a while, the memories of the convenience store seemed to haze down a bit. One day, as I passed by the now closed down store, I heard the child's voice. There I saw the woman. When I looked in my hand, I picked up one of the rusted nails that had fallen in the middle of the tight. And then what did I do? scares if you're interested in supporting patreon.chillasart 
Ridiculous Art Support for Cameos, Hustle Me is Hustle Me Magazine. Good game. A Brahmin label. like when developers added thank you for playing like you believed in our product you trusted us we wanted to deliver a good experience that was good That was fun. Although there is one thing I want to do before I close this game. Just looking back on this game, I can appreciate like um, this part of the game because like it just teaches you like the way to go, so you're not completely lost when you're trying to get back here like three times. That's good. All right, here we are. Fuck you. Yep. Hey. Here, bud. I think you can use this more than I can. There we go. Okay, well, I'm not going to do the second ending because that would take way too long, but for now, this is okay. So now, I better do just like this guy. Goodbye. Actually, one more thing I want to say is that this floor looks really, really nice. Okay, that's it. Okay, now for real. Bye.